Why am I losing views on YouTube? Coming right up. In our Small YouTubers Boost Facebook group, which has over 320,000 small YouTubers, one common question that we get is, why am I losing views? So uh, I wanted to address it here. And first off, um, I want to qualify and clarify what's being asked. When someone says, why am I losing views? They generally mean one of two things. In one case, what they're talking about is their recently uploaded videos are getting fewer views than their older videos. Now, that's a complicated question that could have a hundred different answers. If you've changed the topic or genre you're covering, maybe the thumbnail's a little different, maybe you didn't fill out all the tags or the description, maybe you didn't share it as widely, maybe the video for whatever reason just isn't resonating with your audience. So I think if that's the thing that you're facing, the question you should be asking is, why am I not getting as many views now on my new content? And that's a separate question. The other part of the question generally is that somebody had a certain number of views on a video or across their channel, and now the number is smaller. So let's address that one, because I think that's the one um, that's a little bit more concerning that people don't necessarily know about. It's easy to understand. Maybe my new video didn't do as well as my old one. But why did the view count go down? Why would that happen? There's a couple of reasons. For one thing, the view count might drop due to YouTube audits. Now, those audits are generally conducted within the first 48 hours of having received those views. That's why when you look at your real-time stats, they don't necessarily align with the final numbers showing in other parts of YouTube because they haven't gone through that 48-hour audit process yet. So that could be one reason. But it's not just within the first 48 hours. You could have video views taken away at any point in time, really, as a result of these audits. So you're asking yourself, what is this audit? You still haven't said why. Why is this happening? Basically what these audits are is YouTube trying to determine whether the views that you got were real. You're not allowed to, for example, buy views. I won't talk too much about how that's done, but some people will offer to sell you views, and that is a violation of YouTube's fake engagement policy. You should absolutely never buy subscribers, views, watch time, comments, likes, any of that kind of stuff, because it violates YouTube's fake engagement policy. To do so risks your channel. A lot of people talk about how oh, it doesn't help you, they're not real fans. Yes, that's true, but the bigger concern is that your channel will get shut down. If you violate this policy, they'll shut it down without any warning, without any notice, and they won't give you a way to appeal it. You are just done on the platform, so please, 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 never buy subscribers, views, watch time, comments, likes, dislikes, any of it. Don't. The simple fact is, is that YouTube needs to try and detect when people are cheating, when they are gaming the system through means that violate their policy. And so they have different methods of detecting this. The problem is, these methods are not always perfect. YouTube is a giant platform and they don't have the manpower. It would be impossible to manually check all these things. They have to rely on algorithms and computer programs to detect when views aren't real. And so sometimes it gets it wrong. It often gets it right, sometimes it gets it wrong. And I've actually kind of been a victim of them getting it wrong. So let me tell you a quick story. I uploaded a video on the Vacation Impossible channel of a cruise on the Carnival Sunshine. And it was a great video, and I was really proud of it. And so after I uploaded it, I sent it to a variety of my friends. And I sent it to one friend in particular who watched it and liked it so much that she shared it among her coworkers at her office. And so they were all watching the video on different computers in the same office, legitimately. These were legitimate views. So I saw that after that friend of mine had shared the video, I got 100 views in like an hour. But later, my view count dropped by about 100 views, and I'm pretty sure I know what happened. The problem was, even though these views were completely legitimate, because they all came from the same office, they all came from very similar IP addresses, that the automated function on YouTube saw that and thought that it was inauthentic, that it was fake, that it wasn't real, that maybe I... 
I paid for them or something, which I didn't do, even though they were completely sincere, honest, actual views. And when that happens, it sucks. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. It just sucks. Uh, but the problem is, is that there's really no recourse there. Um, and so when something like that happens and your views go down, it's potentially because of something like that. It could also be that for whatever reason, um, maybe somebody else had tried to buy views or uh, there was some nefarious activity where people were watching and it wasn't legitimate. Maybe it thought that you were re-watching your own video multiple times, things like that. So for whatever reason, it would think that that is potentially what's happened. So that's at the video level, which of course also flows up to the channel level. But another thing that can happen is you might be looking at a website like Social Blade that shows how many views a channel has gotten on a particular day or month across the channel, across all of its videos. And sometimes those numbers go negative. How do you have negative views? The audits could be one explanation, but there is another. If the channel had a video that it later marked as private or deleted, then those views disappear from the view count from the channel at large. So, think about it. If you're looking at a channel on Social Blade and you see negative views, it's possible they bought views, like they're not supposed to, and they got removed. But it is equally possible that they just set some video to private or deleted it. Maybe a video was taken down for a community guideline strike or a copyright violation. Whatever it is, when you see negative view counts, it can mean a few different things. So particularly when you're looking at another channel on Social Blade, I would ask you not to rush to judgment. It might look like the person bought views, but that might not be the reality. They might have been audited unfairly, inaccurately, or they may have deleted or privated videos. So just something to keep in mind, particularly when you're looking at another channel that you might want to collaborate with. So I think it's important to keep an open mind. Please don't accuse other YouTubers of things that you don't know for certain happened. They might have just had some bad luck or have made some choices that adjusted the statistics on their channel. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. They might have been removing content that no longer was appropriate for their channel. And that is okay. So just something to think about. Hopefully this answers the question of why are my views going away? Uh, particularly if we're actually talking about views decreasing. If you're curious about why your video isn't doing as well as your older videos, that's a much larger question. And so to answer that, I recommend you check out the other videos on this channel. If you learn about search engine optimization and making thumbnails and sharing things effectively on social media, then you can get some strategies that will hopefully operate consistently to get your videos views. But that's just a matter of not more people watching them. And we can help you with that. We've got different things here that will show you how to get more views on your video. So thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And question of the day, have you ever seen your view count actually decrease? And have you been able to figure out maybe why that happened? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about your experiences, maybe help answer some questions. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.